Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tash is going to spill the tea straight. No chaser, no sugarcoating bullshit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I truly appreciate all the support, the likes, the comments, all the donations. I love you guys, okay? So if you want any information, all my information will be in the description bar below, okay? Ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light. Mm. I call you into my beautiful space. And I ask for a clear, precise, channeled message from my beautiful collective that's watching me right now. Remember, guys, to use your discernment. Put yourself where you belong. These are general, timeless and collective readings okay ancestors close any other door other than the highest white light please and thank you let's dive in and see what's going on remember don't shoot the messenger okay guys I'm just that the messenger now you got the endurance to persevere this fucking magic manipulation energy work whatever you are intelligent you are reading the room you know what to do. You know who is doing what, where, when. <laughs> oh, my God. And somebody's trying to bind you. But it's not working, is it? No. What it's doing is showing their motherfucking ass. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah? Okay. Bottom of the deck is the belongings. Yeah, because you belong to a higher power. And this is why you have the endurance to persevere all this dark energy work that is being sent towards you. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. The Nine of Wands, yeah, you are the wounded warrior. You are persevering through this war, whatever war somebody wanted you to go through. They didn't think it was going to be a war, but come on, you're, they're trying to bind you to something. Of course, there's going to be a war in the ethers because you belong to a higher power. And somebody is trying to coerce you or coerce an energy to try to get into your to, to get into your energy to bind you. But you're so fucking intelligent and you're unaccessible. And the ancestors are protecting you. Now, I did do a 30-minute reading, but there was no volume. However, it's what it is, guys. <laughs> Archangel Michael was definitely protecting you. Let's just say that. From a hierophant in reverse, the three of, wand, uh, three of swords in the upright, the nine of cups, and the page of wands. Now, what I'm seeing here is there's somebody of uh, structure. Okay, somebody. Okay, my cards are blowing up. Somebody feels left out from you. They know you have a lot of morals and integrity and dignity, something that these people do not have or this person does not have. There's a major tower moment because the justice is there, guys. Okay? You have protection. These people are very upset about your protection from Archangel Michael. They tried to put a lot of heartbreak on you. Three of swords could have been more than two people. Three people, it looks like, to gang up on you to try to make this fucking feeling stick but you use your intelligence and somebody was very smug they seen you as wish fulfillment but they overindulged in you or they chose to overindulge in a lot of different things could be in this player like energy somebody wanted to come in and out of your life prince of swans in reverse there's the justice the temperance angel in reverse the nine of swords in reverse now, this player is very much up in their head. They know that you're taking a leap of faith and you're you're sleeping well, okay? Somebody was smug. They were complacent. They were indulging, overindulging even, and um, wanting you to be binded to their toxicities, thinking that what they were saying was going to project onto you, but that's not the fact because you know the facts. <laughs> you know who you are. Somebody has no morals and integrity and is trying to get you to conform to some kind of outdated belief systems so patriotic system take it as it resonates guys but they're a tyrant and you know this <laughs> and this is why you're intelligent about it you know that somebody is just gonna hurt you so ancestors are balancing out the scales bringing in justice harmony to this arrogant person who clearly is overindulging in the external energy and thinks that because they got good dick game or you know they're a player they're a casanova or something they can come towards you but no 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 this is not what's going on it's the page of pentacles now you're gonna have to learn patience okay because right now Oh, everything is working out in your favor, but you may not see it this way, okay? You had to go through that heartbreak so that this way justice to come in. There was a lot of energies who were being tyrants in, in, around you or externally trying to put you in this 
box this category when this is exactly what box and category they belong to see the wheel of fortune in reverse i'm telling you okay somebody is um feeling like their fortunes is not in their favor because of the fact that they can't bind you to some kind of energy i'm telling you you really had to endure a lot and somebody didn't think that you were going to overcome this but it's the five of pentacles I mean, uh, the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. <sighs> Somebody tried to hold on to you. They wanted to come in with this love bombing kind of energy to try to get you to conform to some kind of religious-based mind frame. But you've seen the truth of this, of this heartbreak. And you have the Six of Wands. So you are getting recognition, um, some kind of victory in this war. <sighs> but a lot of people are still watching you. Now, they know that you are wish fulfillment, but they refuse to see you as that. So they wanted to indulge. Now, you are the hermit. Eight of cups. You walked away. You decided to do the inner work, the soul searching necessary to get you out of this binding energy. It was the past choices that made you bind it. But when you're intelligent about that, you can endure almost anything because you know you belong to a higher power. So what people do to you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. You're the fucking empress. That's why a lot of people want to come towards you very passionately, fast, because of your status. You have a lot of passion. You probably are very fucking sexy, male or female. It's irrelevant. You have a lot of passion. A lot of drive, a lot of inspiration. Now, there could have been some um, stepmother in the background or an auntie, a cousin, a sister, a brother, um, you know, father. Take it as it resonates. Somebody was siphoning your energy as that empress. And see the braid, right? They were trying to bind you, but they can't do this because of your passion. It's the death, guys. You had a major transformation, a major ending because of your love, your compassion. Now, there was that Ursula bitch, I'm telling you, in the background, male or female, trying to do some energy work, some magic, like Ursula took Ariel's voice so that Ariel couldn't speak to her prince. And I hear that song, ah, 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 like what? <laughs> that song right so that that's a channel message song i don't know but somebody sees you as that ten of wands or they are being burdened by this judgment i'm telling you the justice is there balancing of the scales you put to death this tyrant energy and it's the five of swords yeah there was a lot of people envious conniving judging you falsely and then they ended up going in this temperance angel in reverse they were, they're the ones who were overindulging. Like they, they're mad because they can't work together to cause you injustice. It's the ten, of pen, the ten of Pentacles because you still got the legacy, guys. No matter what, this is why a lot of people try to bind you, but they can't. So they're not being able to sleep good. While you sleep easy, these people are having a hard time. Page of Cups. Somebody wants to come in with some kind of apology. The seven of swords but you got to be careful okay there was somebody lying and cheating and being deceptive in the background and uh this wicked stepmother or somebody's mother take it as it resonates could be a baby mama i don't know it's an older lady though okay she was hiding you hiding who you were siphoning you he was take it as it resonates but somebody found you now, they could have treated you like Cinderella when you were really the princess and everybody was just, you know, riding off of your energy or your coattails or your money. Fuck, who knows how deep this is going to go, guys. You put it where it belongs, right? I'm just the reader. Bottom of the deck, it's that knight of swords in reverse. Somebody is pissed the fuck off because of your patience and the fact that they can't bind you. As the empress, you know who you are. Let's get the juice, guys, because this is getting really fucking juicy. You put this to death, all this black magic. Why? Because you're the fucking goat. And you've seen these karmics for really what they were. Conniving. And somebody said that you were a karmic, but you went into hermit mode. Yo, these people are like, you know, what is it called? It's like misery loves company. So they're always around people. They always got something to say. 
But they can never, like, they can't be by themselves. They're karmic. They hate themselves. I'm not going to fucking lie. It is what it is, guys. And you're doing the right thing as the empress, going towards the things that make you passionate. Even if people said that you couldn't do it or whatever, whatever, you can't have love or, you know, you can't make a difference and a change. Yeah, you can. And you are. So what the fuck difference does these people make? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. Check your birth chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node for that to make sense. Okay, but somebody is salty as fuck because you are powerful and you were able to conquer and overcome whatever kind of vicious cycle that somebody wanted you in or your ability to like to take your voice. Somebody wanted to take your voice, take your confidence so that this way you can you wouldn't be ready. But you are. You're fucking right. You're ready. And these people are really upset that they can't work with you or against you. Because you got that Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, guys. Somebody is really fucking upset. And it could be an Aries who was lying on you. Or an Aries, the Emperor. Take it as it resonates. Could be a fool or an Emperor. Put yourself where it belongs. Put it where it belongs. But whatever injustice was done, this lying and cheating, somebody found you and sees that you are the sun, you are light, you are positive, you are free, you are flowing, you are light as a feather. So if you're light as a feather, then how can you be so dark like these people are saying? You're not the bad go, you're the good go. See, you're the fucking star. You are hope, you are healing, you are inspiration, you have creativity, and you know how to renew yourself from all this dark energy work. People can't bind you. You're too intelligent for this. Whether this is narcissistic abuse or actual magic, manipulation is manipulation guys and you're too intelligent for this and you do have ancestors protecting in your in the spirit realm so people need to really come correct you are a fucking magnet somebody wants to come back to you they want to spin the block that they've been stalking you guys and it's this player player from the himmel fucking leia they really really want to get in your energy they salty they don't want somebody else to come in and fucking fuck fuck you okay shit my downloads i don't know someone's a fucking drama starter you better watch your back. This drama starter better watch your back. Yeah, somebody's greedy. I'm telling you, it was all for clout. It was all for fucking manipulation. And somebody is so not fucking happy right now because you are fucking closed off from this player, the clout chaser. Anybody who's going to spin the block for lower vibrational energies, you got victory. You're getting a marriage. Remember, the marriage is about the bigger than just you, too. It's a connection that's going to help the whole world. And somebody just couldn't fulfill that. So you got a replacement, guys. You're dangerous. Somebody should have came correct or not at all. Somebody re regrets choosing you as a motherfucking enemy because you are untouchable. It is what it is. They don't like you. It's too bad. You're off limits. They don't like it. It's too fucking bad. What the fuck they think? Karmic lesson, baby. You're brand new. Doesn't matter what the fuck they think. What matters is what the ancestors think. Your spiritual ranks. All right, so let's get this situation. No, let's get this card deck going. Okay, so yeah, look. See, I'm telling you, somebody is the um, colorless duke, okay? So somebody's male or female, their life is drained from them. Whether it's from something you said, the fact that, you know, you are lit and you aren't taking none of this shit and all the magic is being backfired, so everything is being stuck on them or the fact that the player got played. <laughs> the player should have played it, paid attention. Play, players going to karma. The colorless duke, guys. Decisions, new path, and ideas. There are many decision, uh, direct uh, distractions around you which are stopping you from focusing on what, what is important right now. You need to take time to concentrate on your needs. In order to recognize where your energy should lie, you should find the time to be quiet. Meditate or just, move your, uh, just remove yourself from a busy situation. You have an air of charm and a positive energy around you at this time. It's time to be confident and reach for the stars. Connect with your own inner power and realize your true potential. You do not have to hide your light as you have plenty to give. Set yourself a goal and do not let yourself sway from reaching those desires. You hear me again? Somebody needs to take a new path. I don't, I'm going to fucking spiritual burps like crazy. So let's get the situation going on here. Spirit guides, what's the situation here? Somebody is really in their feelings about your wheel of fortune. And Ten of Pentacles is just right up in their face. Like somebody really 
counted you out. <laughs> and now they're searching for you everywhere. They're looking for you online. Uh, they're trying to search some records to hold something against you, but they're not finding shit. They can't bind you to shit. Like, oh my God, somebody wants to come and offer something. Put some kind of offer on the table. There's some kind of commitment. Friends, family, acquaintances, somebody wants to spin the block. But you had a spiritual awakening. So you see this. You know what's going on here. And you're very vigilant. And this is why you're clearing off the energies. You're meditating. You're removing anything in your house or around you or, you know, people, places, things, food, whatever. You're removing any of the ne negativity, the toxicity. And somebody has been trying to search for you after healing something or removing something. It's this divine masculine. There's a divine masculine coming in. Bottom of the deck is recalling. Now, you may know who this is. You may recall who this is, this divine masculine. But they cleared out their energy of something and wants to come in. There's a lot of reminiscing, a lot of memories here. And somebody is, can't quench their thirst. So it's like they're in this hamster wheel of dog shit. Like the karma is fucking real in somebody's life. They're living in Karmaville right now. Is what the fuck is going on because of that ego. Somebody was so egoic that they undermined you when you were probably the only thing that loved them. Now somebody is so codependent on you. They're begging you to love them. Because they know why you walked away or why you're refusing to be in their life. Friends, family, acquaintances, exes, whatever. Somebody's about to reach out. And they want to reach out to say that they had an ego death. That you gave them the strength to have this. But you have to be careful, guys. Somebody, it's like you make them want to do bad things. It's like they tap into this, this darkness inside of them that just makes no sense. They get so insecure and they can hurt you. So be careful because words hurt and somebody needs to listen to their heart, okay? So it's not just about a physical hurt, guys. It's about the neglecting part. It's about the, the refusing to see somebody when they are in need, lying to somebody right in their face to people who clearly talk shit about them. These are all unloyalty um, traits. And anybody who is unloyal to you being in a committed relationship or a partnership is going to be like they don't need to be in your life because they're going to hurt you and they're going to do bad things in the background and and gaslight you like they're not the problem they are the fucking problem obviously guys and this is why they want you to love them because they're insecure there's nothing at the bottom of the deck and it says my family won't like me now your family won't like them maybe their family won't like you I don't know. But at the end of the day, nobody should have control over who people are with. And that's the problem. Somebody needs to have a mind of their own. And your soul tribe members, they have a mind of their own. They're not going to listen to an auntie, a cousin, a sister, a best friend, just because somebody has their own ulterior motives as to why they want people stuck in this fucking situation over here guys you know so this is why we have to use our own intuition you're going on your north node you have a cosmic purpose a soul path and you made a a, a pledge to be on this path and it's a dangerous path because like a moth to a flame right you attract a lot of dark energies but it's divine timing you are assisted by your spiritual guides. You have nothing to worry about. You are intelligent and these people can't bind you to any toxicities because you have already healed from this. Somebody should have watched out. They played right in your face and you've seen them. But you knew it was a projection. It was not a reflection of who you were, but a projection of who they were. And you understood this because of your knowledge, because of the healing, and because of this twin flame energy. Now, this twin flame energy... 90% of the twins do not stay together. Only maybe 60% of the twins are actually still friends. Okay? The other percent pff, can't stand each other. So take it as it resonates, guys. But when you really are connected to that twin flame 144K, which there is not many of us out there, then yes, it does resonate and we do learn self-love. So we are able to have this unconditional love for our twin 
However, that does not mean unconditional disrespect. You can most definitely love somebody unconditionally from a motherfucking far because look at this nonsense. <laughs> Heart of the deck. Yeah, somebody feels guilty for sabotaging you. The relationship, the friendship, the family, whatever this is, and it was probably because of their own family, their own insecurities, their own demonic possessions internally. Take it as it resonates, guys. Somebody, you need to put boundaries up. You put boundaries up, yo. Somebody was like being just too much in your energy. And you seen the foresight of it. You knew it wasn't going to come out right. It wasn't going to turn out good. So you did what you needed to do to get the fuck away from these players. Friends, family, acquaintances, these are the kind of people that will throw you under the bus first chance they get because they're conflicted within themselves. This is why we hunt after our own conflictions. We see indeed the foresight that it was not going to turn out good. Not at all. Why? Because at the heart of the deck, you just want joy. Happiness is your main priority. So you did what you needed to do to get out of the situation and change your tradition. Somebody is living outdated belief systems and you did whatever you need to do to get out of that. But because you got out of that traditional mindset or outdated belief systems, religion, who knows what this is, the patriotic system, okay? And people wanted you to bind you to that. No morals, no dignity, you know, laugh at you because you're the only one helping when they have more than you. It's like stupid shit to dancer of frustration. You learn to dance with those frustrations. You see in the foresight, you understand and dance with joy, knowing that what you have is on you. What you don't have is on you and you hold nobody responsible for your truth. You become true to yourself and you're a dangerous motherfucking creature to this player because this player likes people who they can use and they can't use you. Friends, family, a job, whatever, man. You're the fucking greatest of all times. These people can't use it. The fuck? You're the empress. They got this all wrong. Their head game, like their mind is just so warped. You know, it says be true. It says I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions and have confidence in who I am. I, uh, who I am, I receive the good and I receive the good in me. I do not need to hide to prove anything. I replace shame with the power of love and truth. Exactly. You have no shame, guys. You may have acted some kind of way out of impulse before. This is why you could put your foot in these kind of people's shoes and you ain't judging. The thing is, is you seen the foresight of this situation. The ancestors seen the foresight and guided you away for a reason. Bottom of the deck. To teach us self-love. To teach us what we no longer deserve in this world. So that that way we can teach our children this. Okay? Remember, we are only leading by example. That's it. We're not telling people what to do here. We're leading by example. I attune to my needs by listening to my heart. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me. And I respect my limits and answer the quest of my body and my soul. Thus, I learn how to love myself. Aww. Somebody is wearing a mask, okay? Or a lot of people are because of this transformation. You're going on a new journey and you may be naked to the world and it's making a lot of people uncomfortable. But you're an animal. We are all animals. So you have to tap into that nature. You're not physically naked. It's just the fact that you have nothing to hide. So it's, it intimidates a lot of people because they have so much to hide. And it's all because of their social environments or how they're supposed to look socially okay so somebody thinks you're socially awkward or something but who the fuck cares what people think irrelevant transformation like i said you're having major fucking transformation and nobody can stop it guys let's get the messages from the moonology and the manifestation moonology guys what's the moon want to say for us this is surrender to the divine you surrendered to the divine and became a dangerous motherfucking creature. And these people need to take a breath because this tower about to hit them hard. Confidence is key. These people want to take away your confidence. But you're very close to achieving your goals. Whatever that goal is, guys, it's coming in, okay? So effort plus intention, attention, effort plus intention <laughs> and adjustments are required in order for this goal to come in, this dream to come in. OK, so take a deep breath all around the board, guys. A major, major manifestation is coming in. Now, it might have took a while for this to come in because it was a big one. And it wasn't about stepping on people, hurting people, nothing. But it's coming in and it's just going to show exactly what kind of goat you are. Greatest of all times, guys. The adjustments are required. 
It says the end of a tough cycle is approaching, guys. It says time to give rather than take. And uh, um, your hard work is paying off. Okay? Because you gave when you couldn't. You know, like me, I don't make all kinds of money. I'm a single mom and I get no government money. You know, it's usually really hard around Christmas. But I still manage to donate because any little bit I give out, I do get back. So say I give 10 bucks, I'm going to get 20, 40 bucks somewhere else. Uh, say I give $40, $60. I, it always, always doubles in another way because that's the way source is. You belong to a higher power. And these people need to get fucking used to it. Adjustments are required, guys. You have a death and rebirth, guys. Somebody needs to adjust. Adjustments are required in order to fit you in because you know, you're turning the darkness into light because you are tender. You see people for what they are and your ma magic comes from within. You don't need to whip up a, some shit in the kitchen, light a candle. You are the divine mother. You nurture people and you have a river of blessings coming in. All those, you're releasing all the constraints, okay? And you have this hidden knowledge, this Akashic records, this silent understanding. And it's time to dive in. Time to really get deep, okay? So anything else? Let's get a subconscious message and it says, do I surrender, surround myself with people who lift me up? Okay, guys, we got to check this because we are the company we keep. You hang out with, like, say, for instance, you hang out with four millionaires, you're going to become the fifth. But if you hang out with four drug addicts, you're going to become the fifth. You hang out with four bitty ass bitches or negative Nancy's, you know, Debbie Downers are going to be the fifth. Okay, so the people with whom we surrender our, our, surround ourselves with determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's soul action. Make a desired list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself with and clarify if there is any one of, in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Didn't I say that? When you have the power of self-love, you, you can love people from a distance and not and, and still have that detachment because you are the divine mother. You nurtured people. You gave them grace to learn, to evolve. And now you're having this beautiful water, like these blessings coming in. Why? Because you have the Akashic records, the silent understanding, the fearlessness to remove any kind of obstacles in your way and you turn that darkness into light. And you surrender to the higher power. And that's why you made the adjustments to tap into that self-care, that self-love, to be true to yourself. Even if it, you didn't understand, you had the foresight and you knew that there was a better way to get out of the conflict and to be joyous. It was very frustrating and it took a lot of patience. But you're a fucking dangerous creature. And this um, colorless duke is feeling some kind of way, male or female, guys, because you're dangerous to a player because the player can't play you. They get played. And now they see you as brand new and going to major karmic lessons. We all are, guys. And you get major victory in a marriage, a relationship. Like I said, guys, it's bigger than the two of you. But there's going to be major victory here. Somebody wants to spin the block because you're the fucking star. But you may be closed off. It's time to see the truth. You'll pass it, says. I'll pass it, says. I'm, I'm only seeing the lies. About the money. Somebody was very egotistical. A clout chaser. A drama starter. They talk shit about the external world. Probably because of this over-masculinity or something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you're ready. And you have this wheel of fortune coming in. And these people are going to be salty as fuck. But it doesn't matter what the fuck they are. Check your birth chart for this, Virgo, okay? It's you're doing the right thing. And these karmics are seeing that you are the greatest of all times. And that's why the magic is being backfired, guys. I don't make it up. These drama siders see exactly what the fuck's going on. And that you are protected and dangerous. And that's why you're the star. And these people are in depression. They lack happiness and you're super happy. It's the injustice, guys. Someone thought that they could continuously put this shit on you and not pay the consequences. Could be an Aries. Could be a, a emperor. 
wanting to come in, but look towards their empress. But be careful, okay, guys, because somebody is lying. They're lying. They're watching you. They see you got that Ten of Pentacles, so they could be a clout chaser, but somebody wants to work with you now after seeing all of this distortion. With the Four of Swords, it's like you've, you're healing from this betrayal, this abandonment. You're standing on the truth, and you know that somebody is burdened because of your heart. And how you your cutoff game is just fucking deadly. And you do have this beautiful abundance coming in. This new big dick energy or this new passion. This new create creation. Take it as it resonates. You're the empress. So everything you touch turns to gold. Everybody around gets the protection that you get. The divine feminine, divine masculine protection. And you moved away to go into hermit mode. Because you clearly knew you were going to get the victory. After all these distorted energies were spying on you. Trying to bind you in some kind of way they wanted to come in to love bomb you to but it was like an in and out kind of energy and you let it go these people can't hold on to you and they're pissed the fuck off because you sleep easy and they're in turmoil stuck on stupid drinking and overindulging and gossip and greed and justice is coming in for all the tyrant kind of energies who want to come in who who just want to you know you are a sapiosexual not a lot of people are a sapiosexual and this is what you want this is why you get wish fulfillment these people see you as wish fulfillment but at the end of the day they just want to hurt you and put you in some kind of conformity some kind of outdated belief systems you have to be patient because these people are trying to bind you but you're too intelligent for it and you will endure all this black magic this dark energy work because the ancestors are clearing you off you don't even have to do anything but lay some sage do your spiritual baths it's nothing crazy nothing at all why because you belong to a higher source and you are innocent somebody wanted to treat you like a doll but the ancestors look at you like they're dolls. So that's the thing, guys. They really thought you were innocent. But that innocence gives you that protection. <sighs> Somebody wanted to replay your history when you already fucking did that. And that's why justice is coming in. You are not playing. Some, you are not going back to what you tried to get away from for so long. And somebody is recalling something. They're plugged the fuck in, paying attention to you online. They're searching for you everywhere. They want to come in with a proposal because you did have a transformation, but you cleared the energy and you're bringing in a real divine masculine. Now, somebody's family could have fucking got them in a situation. Now they want to reach out because of this ego. They want you to love them, but they're going to continuously keep playing the same cycles until they do the inner work. And they're going to talk shit about you in the background because you're saying no to them. They need to listen to their heart and do the inner work and understand why they're getting so much karma and why they feel so much regret. Because you are on your soul's purpose. You are doing the right thing and you are not you're minding your fucking business, drinking your fucking water, and that's the truth. You trust the universe. It's divine timing that everything comes out in the light, that people were just projecting instead of reflecting because this energy that you have is powerful and it does intimidate a lot of people because of your foresight, because you see, you feel, you know, you tapped into that Akashic Records, guys, and you're being true to yourself. And it does have a lot of people insecure because you are surrendering to the divine Things that people should have did in the first place because you belong to a higher power, a higher source. You are d dangerous because you you let the secrets out about all these drama starters. So I hope this resonated. I hope this helped. You got a divine masculine here and you have a colorless duke, okay? But you're able to transmute and translate all this fucking shit. So let's get one of these messages, guys, and go down the rabbit hole real fast for you, okay? So this one is secret society. So this masculine, this colorless dupe, male or female, sees you as a peacemaker and is in secret society, a Freemason or something. But somebody wants to come and make peace with you because holy fuck, are you powerful? You just demolished all these people. And that's why somebody is colorless. There was a lot of unrequited love. And these distorted energies wanted you to stay in this unrequited love, love of convenience, love of money, all this crap. But you aren't doing that. Nope. You hold out for a star-crass lover's true love. And you have no, you, you, you don't mind waiting. Look, because you're patient and you know that when you wait, you will get what you accomplish. <laughs> you put the work in, you will get what you accomplish. And that's why somebody's feeling some kind of way right now. Let's get the hidden truth. Yeah, it says... 
It was my fault, but I blamed you. Somebody blamed you for their fucking toxic ways. Yo, that made no fucking sense because you weren't even living anywhere near them. Yo, somebody needs to wake the fuck up and they are grateful for the spiritual lessons. That's for sure. Heart of the deck and it says I am not available. Somebody is not emotionally available, spiritual available, financially available. They're just not fucking available. And this is why you walk away. And once you walked away, you found achievement. Now, a lot of people look at you like a celebrity because of what, whatever competition they had you in. You all overcame this message for a rabbit. They know that you, a lot of people know that you are a service to the animal world. And they know that you're not available to anybody who is emotionally unavailable. Part of the deck. Yeah, you're leading the way. You're leading by example. Be the leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others, okay? So remember, everybody has a testimony. We need to speak our truth. Investigate. And use that little computer in your hand to investigate. Look closely. Ask questions and think before acting. It says, because somebody wants to be fucking queen. Yo, but there's there's four queens in the deck, okay? Plus the four in the upright plus the four in the reverse. So there's eight queens in the deck, right? But there's only two empresses, the one in the upright and the one in reverse. So you got to be careful because there's a lot of people playing this doppelganging kind of cloak in their energy kind of shit. And then you end up fucking stuck in some kind of shit with a drama queen. Ha ha, bitch, that's your karma. Want to be queen, standing sovereign, declaring freedom and passing the test, keeping up intense effort and advancement somebody's trying to keep up to you and it's these people trying to be queen but you're an empress you were in a whole different fucking ball game status whatever this is you're waiting for a divine masculine so i hope this helped it's divine timing 11 11 you got a soul ascension you all learned all about self-love guys i love you thank you for spending some time with me i hope this helped you on your journey let's get one message from the universe and it's the 11th house, friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. Somebody is coming in that's going to help you, that's on the same level as you, okay? That's not going to undermine you, talk shit about you. They're not going to hurt your heart because they're not childish. They're not on a fucking playground. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> you want a real, real man, and they want a real, real woman. This is what it is, and you're going to get that. So I hope this helped. I hope. Hope this gave you some clarity today. You are a divine mother, guys. Masculine, feminine, it's irrelevant. It's time to nurture, have compassion, and release any blockages so that this way the river of blessings that can come in. But you have to do, you have to surround yourself with the right people who are going to level you up. Okay? Stay blessed. One love. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information at the bottom. If you're feeling generous and want to give back, I'll put the donation button there. Just like, comment, subscribe. That's energy donation as well. And it shows that you're enjoying and getting information. And it does help the algorithm so other people can get the reading as well. I truly love yous. I hope this helped yous. Have a beautiful day and night whenever you watch this. Mwah!